I'm Wade Bradley, and I'm here to give you the rundown of our new Bradley P10 Professional Food Smoker. Our ultimate goal has always been to provide a way to give you the best food smoking experience possible, and the P10 fulfills that task perfectly. The first thing you might notice is there's no longer an external smoker unit like the ones on our other models. We redesigned the smoke generator to fit inside the smoker cabinet. The smoking process is still the same, where our biscuits are only allowed to smolder for 20 minutes. This way, only good clean smoke flavors your food. We've also upgraded the control panel to automatically handle all the moving parts for any recipe combination you could want. So now, once you've dialed in your favorite recipes, you can enter them into the smoker with a USB drive, and the CPU will handle the cook time, the smoking time, and the temperatures to deliver the same results every time. I'll show you how easy it is to operate in a minute, but first, let's take a look inside. As you know, smoking food can be messy, so we've improved a few things. Check out the removable wall-to-wall -wall drip pan. It catches all the drips and drains any grease renderings into a separate catch bowl. We included four grill racks with the P10 smoker. Five if you want. And each rack is specially designed so it doesn't accidentally slide out while you are checking on your food. We also included a rack hook so you don't get your hands messy or burn your fingers loading or unloading the smoker. It's really useful when you're swapping the racks around so your food is evenly smoked. There are two heating elements for precise temperature control as well as two meat probes so you can monitor your food temperatures, a ceiling rack for hanging longer food items like sausages, and a condensation bowl that sits right under the chimney damper. So in this demo, we're going to season this new P10 smoker to get rid of that new appliance smell so that your food tastes even better. The setup is exactly the same as if you were smoking a batch of food. We're going to set the temperature to 150 Fahrenheit, set the cook time for two hours, and then set the smoke time for two hours. Next we'll fill both bowls up to the line with water and carefully slide them under the smoker unit. Since each biscuit is only allowed to burn for 20 minutes, you'll need to insert six into the feeder tube for two hours of smoke. Now just plug it in and turn it on. Press the cook temperature icon on the control panel till it blinks, set the temperature using the rotary knob, and make sure to press it to confirm within five seconds of making your choice or you'll have to reset it. If you want to switch between Fahrenheit or Celsius, just push that button. Now move to the cook time icon. Press it. When it blinks, dial in your cook time with the rotary knob, then push to confirm within five seconds of setting the cook time. Oh, and make sure you set the cook time within 60 seconds of setting the temperature or the setup will self cancel. It's a safety thing. Next, press the smoke time icon and then dial in two hours with a rotary dial. Then press to confirm within 5 seconds. Notice that the setting only shows in 20 minute intervals to match the biscuit burn time. And there you go. How easy was that? I definitely recommend that you take the time and read the manual to fully understand how to use all the features of the P10. All the answers to your questions regarding the operation of the P10 are in the manual. We are also planning on making more recipe videos with lots of tips to help you master the Bradley way of smoking food. So keep an eye out, and we'll see you soon.